So what I got for you today is uh, electronic throttle body. It needs cleaning, obviously. Not too bad on this side. Lots of carbon and sticky oil on the back side. What you're going to use is a regular throttle body cleaner. Don't use the carb cleaner. It's too uh, harsh on these. Spray her down. Get it from the front too. Spray it again from the back side. that soak a little bit. Now while that's soaking, I'll tell you why I took it off the car. Um, electronic throttle bodies are different in that they have a motor and the actual uh, position sensors in there and if left connected and then you're messing with this plate in here you can actually ruin the motor in there. It's all still connected by the gear set. There's been a lot of complaints about that and uh, leaving it energized while doing that is the primary cause. The other problem is, is safety. This motor, and there's a gear reduction set in here, can actually, according to Ford, if you stick your finger in here, even with the key off, some of these throttle bodies do a sweep and they uh, have ice breakage strategies built into them, stuff like that. Either way, it's a high torque motor and a gear reduction gear set. And what they say is that if you're in here cleaning this and that thing actuates to close, it can actually chop your finger off. Never seen it, I don't wanna try it. It's got a regular spring return on there, just like any throttle body. But that motor's energized and it snaps back, watch out. I don't want to try it. Nice and wet again. Take a soft bristle brush. And you really get it all around the edges. Using a plastic brush. Don't use any metal. Spray it down while it's all loose. Then, soak a rag in the throttle body cleaner. So once you soak that rag, then you can get in here, lift the plate, clean where it seats in there and then you can clean the edge of this plate here also and get all that sticky carbon out of there help it get its idle trim back to zero as close as possible and also let that air just flow through here a lot easier than that rough sticky carbon. In the end it should come out pretty clean like this one. And you're ready to bolt it back on.